Traders, what's good with y'all? How is everybody doing? I don't wanna say much and I don't wanna do much. Guess you guys are doing good. Guess you're having a trading week that is excellent. And I guess and I pray that you're ending the month of May in a great way. You guys know this is your boy King COT Harlem and we're back again with another video. Today I wanna share with you guys how we took a long position buys on USD CAD using the simplest and the most effective way to trade or to approach the market's price section or let me just say support and resistance right so before i get any further with the video make sure you smash the like button you subscribe to the channel you share the video you comment on the video you click the link to trade with the broker that i highly recommend if you're looking to trade my day to, to watch my day in the live vlogs you can also do that or if you're looking to be part of the cot academy we're having three mentorship services or sessions or courses open we're having a three-day session which we work and we learn how to trade for three days with you in person one-on-one -on -one. or we're having that one-on-one -on -one session which i just come to you or you come to me or we made at a place which is safe or at your home and you put in the work or we're having that 30 day mentorship session which is virtual over the zoom telegram and your discord so without further ado guys let me trade and let me share how i took this trade with you guys and let me show you guys how you can also capitalize using what i used but without further ado let me share this video so let's remember guys that before we even use that zone you guys know that on my weekly outlooks i always talk about a specific zone from where from the four hour time frame so let me just hop to the four hour time frame so i show you guys what i'm talking about right so let's remember said from price creating this high price started pulling back to the downside created a low and pushed created a high pushed again creating a low some type of double top bottom i mean and pushed to the upside came back to the very same zone with a breakout and a break back in and continue to the upside coming back again to spike the zone pushing to the upside breaking below using the zone as some type of resistance right but unfortunately we still had that break above and continue with the retest and we fell and moved to the upside so once price had this breakout and this break above before i share the video with you guys i need you to understand that this is a zone we call it a support zone if you're new to trading this is a support zone if some traders will call it i don't know maybe fair value gap or whatever they say it is you know the name you know what it is i just say it's a, that major support that intraday or major support from the forward time frame we had multiple reactions that led price into pushing to the upside every time we came back and spiked our support or we came back to trade above on our support zone so me as a trader working up on thursday from the hourly time frame because obviously this was just from the four hour a breakdown right so from the hourly time frame Hopping to the four hour to the hourly time frame, guys. I knew that okay, we had this push to the upside, we had this high that price has created, and price had this pullback, right? And had this breakout and this retest and continue to the upside. So to the downside. So once price had this push and this exhaustion and this bullish engulfing candlestick, this momentum candlestick, guys. <laughs> this momentum candlestick this momentum candlestick because we now knew or we now understood that okay price has been reacted more than five times six times or even maybe ten times on the very same zone on our four hour time frame so when we hop to the hourly time frame we knew that okay price is trading below but chances that price will continue below further below to the downside are very slim why price once hit a break below and traded the so and used the support as a resistance but unfortunately support was still stronger than resistance then it done that intraday resistance and then price led to the upside pushed further to the upside so when you now understand that having having this bullish engulfing candlestick close on our three um, um on our london open on our new york open because this was 15 30 right basically when i anticipated that the, once this candlestick closes i will now understand that okay we are possibly might move to the upside but it's only based on what on understanding that once price closes above the zone and we stay above then that's when you can anticipate or that's when you can have further confirmation or stronger confirmations that this very same support is much more stronger than we might anticipate so when you look at it that's when we saw what we saw price having this bullish candle close above so we took a trade right 
based on what understanding that okay price had a breakout right we had a um we had like a 20 pip we had a 20 pip stop and price gave us a word a 62 pip target right 62 pips somewhere right there so we had a 62 pip target so traders i want you to understand that this very same zone we knew more than in so like let me just say we had more than enough reasons into being bullish once price is above the so because from previously from previously from the past weeks price created that high and created that low right and pushed to the upside and further pushed to the downside to the very same low creating some type of intraday support and then it led price into pushing to the upside and then price dropped again coming back to the very same support and we had a break below and an impulsive break above and they pushed to the upside and price came back to the very same zone and spiked that zone and pushed again to the upside so you now understand that once we had this break out and once we had this break we had a break out and a retest and price continued to the upside but our new york session right made what made price into letting us understand that okay we're having a bullish and golf and candle close that has violated that support zone from a breakout we had a break back below we had a break back above our very same zone long as price stays above that support zone then i still good to go you guys understand that that's how we took the street but guys without further ado i need you guys to understand that as much as i show you guys such a trade support and resistance double top double bottom you guys also need to use a practical analysis right go to the charts and use the information that we share and use what we are giving you guys because if i give you such gems and you're not using them then we take it as useless information and some people are benefiting from that information if you're not benefiting i won't blame you we don't trade the same we might not approach the market the same but price section will forever be price section and that won't change you guys get that but without further ado this is your boy Harlem King COT and I'm signing out